So the next project here on the Land, Land Cruiser is to do something about this front seat and I need to document how it started. But it's a little tricky to get in a video to document. So I'm going to start here on this side of the vehicle and I'm going to run around the other side and hope the audio is good enough uh, to hear. But um, from this side you can, I've taken the passenger seat out so you can see a little better and I've disassembled everything but then kind of staged it so that you can see how it is and why I need to fix it. Um, and it, if you look a little more carefully, I'm going to run around the other side in a sec here, but if you look a little carefully you can see that the seat is sitting on some sort of a box and that it's held to the box by a, a couple of pieces of flat, uh, flat steel stock, cold rolled steel stock. Okay, I'm going to run around the other side. Hopefully the audio is still going to be good enough. So, I've taken it all apart so I can unstage it for you and I'll show you the problem. So, the front seat is held on by two, four bolts, two in the front, two in the back, and they're connected to these two pieces of cold rolled steel that have been added. These are not the original seats. These are aftermarket, or these were done later. And these are screwed onto the lid of what turns out to be a toolbox that's hinged on here. And that's the problem. The problem here is that, the, that this isn't near strong enough to hold the seat in the car if there was a crash. It's also wobbly because it's really the only thing that's holding it is this uh, flap, this latch for a lock. And so when you sit in the seat, it rocks. It's also too high. You can't get your legs from the seat cushion under the seats. So it needs to be lowered and I can't lower it without doing something about this or going back to the original factory seats. I'm actually a little interested in feedback here because I'm thinking I might want to do that, but it's kind of expensive. The uh, original seats, there's a, um, it's a little flatter. I should maybe find a way to post pictures of this, but um, but it actually sits back here and you can fold up, fold up the, the seat to get at this toolbox. So that's option one. That would cost maybe six or seven hundred dollars. To, as I can find um, carcasses of the old seat hardware, the steel and spring parts, and then take it to an upholsterer or get it reupholstered. Um, but actually, what I'm thinking about doing is removing this toolbox. It's spot welded on around here, and I'm, re I'm thinking about removing the toolbox and then building a, a set of mounts for the seat, welding them up, making, and then getting them bolted down to the floor of the truck nice and securely, in the right place, in the right height, and uh, sticking with the aftermarket seats. And uh, that's actually what I'm trying to work out here today. So thanks for watching.